Lord, as we just sang, you are an eternal God. You are unchanging. Your love is boundless, it's unfailing. Lord, we praise you for the mercy you have shown us. Lord, thank you for our Savior Jesus. Lord God, we pray as we prepare our hearts, Lord, in remembering what Jesus accomplished on the cross, may you have all the glory that is due you. Amen. As we prepare for the Lord's Supper, will you open your Bibles to Matthew chapter 5? Matthew chapter 5. Each week as we prepare to take communion, we remember what Jesus accomplished by his sinless life, his death, and his resurrection. You may be prone to think about what Jesus has saved you from. And there is much that our Savior Jesus has saved us from. But Jesus saved us from more than just sin. He rescued us from death, from wrath, from hell. There are many things we could think of that Jesus has saved us from. This morning, I, I want to ask you to consider not only what Jesus on the cross has saved us from, but what has he saved you too, Christian? What has Jesus saved you to? I think there are many things that, that Christ has saved us to, but I want to look at something in particular in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Jesus' words here, let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Christian, you have been saved to holiness. God has called you to be holy as he is holy. This verse is in the imperative. Jesus is saying, let your light shine. Christian, you must let your life shine. A godly life gives a convincing testimony to the saving power of what Jesus Christ has accomplished. It is a life that is lovely, winsome, gracious, noble, excellent. It, it is what has happened on the inside is evident to everybody visually from the outside. Christian, you have been saved to something. You cannot muster up holiness on your own. Our holiness is only possible by the finished work of Jesus Christ in you. It's spirit-driven. It is the Holy Spirit. Jesus not only provided us eternal life, Jesus' work provided for our sanctification, provided for our holiness. Christian, as you prepare yourself to receive the elements, will you think about these things? You're going to receive in just a, a second or two a small juice cup and a cracker. The, the cracker is a remembrance of Christ's body that he freely gave. The juice is a reminder of the blood that was shed. Maybe you're here today and you would not call yourself a Christian. Maybe you don't know or understand what it means to be a Christian. If this is you, scripture tells me, instructs me to warn you not to participate at this time in our service. This time is only for those who believe what Jesus has accomplished and proclaim 
the truths of what Jesus has accomplished. So please, just let the elements pass you by. It's not to insult you or to offend you. It's just scripture tells us this, this time of the service is not for you. But if you desire to, to know about what Jesus accomplished, please talk to me, talk to any of the elders, anybody that you've seen up front, you could talk to them. We would love to tell you about Jesus as Savior. When you've prepared your heart, take communion on your own. Men, will you come and serve us?